from Wes, about to go live on Twitch with you guys to show you my makeup routine. It is really, really, really cold outside right now. I'm in Aspen, Colorado. So let me put that here. We got the menorah popping. Okay, maybe I'll put the menorah on this side so you guys can watch. Got the menorah popping. It is the, whew, is the third night of Hanukkah. Um, let me angle this so you guys can really see me. Okay, and this will be available on YouTube later for the YouTube Westies. Please like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends. It means a lot. So let's get started, shall we? So I just got this makeup mirror. I'm, I usually game, I know, but I, I'm trying to stream every single Tuesday, and I'm going to be doing more makeup from now on because I travel a lot, and I want to make sure I can be consistent. So happy third night of Hanukkah, everybody. All right, so I use this mirror. I usually clean it every time. As you can see, my makeup brushes are right behind the phone. Um, so you'll be seeing me use a lot of different makeup brushes. So I also like to, I got this off Amazon and I also got this headband off Amazon. I really, really, really love to be able to do my makeup when I'm traveling. Now my mom does run her own dermatology business. So here are my two favorite products to use to start off my makeup um, prep when I'm really, really, really dry. Cause I just went skiing. So you can see I'm peeling really dry. Woo. So we're going to start off with these lipid drops, the hi hi uh, flawless hydrator. So my lipid drops. You can buy these on the West Institute Instagram. And if you're here right now, yes, Alexis, Tyler, Alexis, my queen, my Twitch queen. Um, So we're going to start with this right here just because I'm so dry right now. Honestly, like my whole lower face. And you got to let this dry first. So I like to start on my brows while this dries. Now, if you guys are wondering, like, how does she know about, ooh, Tyler, Alexis music, go follow her. That's my homie. Um really appreciate her so inspiring she's gonna come on the podcast soon which just got ranked top five percent shared globally it was just crazy and so cool to start my twitch journey with you guys really pumped just started oh i love you oh my god i love you i'm gonna join your stream tomorrow too um uh yeah so you know i'm really lucky to just have started and have the support of you guys and you know um like my friend Taylor alexis was saying we met through the recording academy and she said you know just keep going no matter what and she's been streaming for years has thousands and thousands of streams follow streamers following her all this stuff but sometimes you know you get 20,000 views, I'm going to get 20 views. So just keep going, keep doing it. Um, I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to start on brows. But yeah, so I'm really grateful for you guys being here. I'm trying to do a lot more makeup, a lot more games. Like I'm really open to suggestions. So if you guys want to see me do anything I haven't done yet, just tell me like I'm open to cooking. I'm open to everything. I just, I really want to keep it consistent to Tuesdays because I'm so busy with everything. Oh, 1.4K. Oh my God, we appreciate you. Oh my God, no, I literally saw your page. You have so many views. Like you should check it because people view it after the fact, like clips and stuff. But that's amazing. 1.4K, that is a lot. Like, you should be proud of yourself. I have, like, no one on here so far. Um, it means a lot for you to supporting me, and I really appreciate everyone who supports. So I'm going to start off with this got-to-be glued eyebrow stuff. Um, I met the TikToker. Yeah, that's normal. I met the TikToker, um, Michaela, before my show, one of my um, final shows at the Viper Room. And I was talking with her, and she was so nice. And I watched her video um, on TikTok the next day, and she was saying to buy this... Um, brow gel and I don't usually buy stuff just because influencers said to buy it you know but I was like you know what she was really nice and OG so let me support her so she had a little discount code or whatever so I was like hey I'll do it um and this really just like gives you that texture yeah no it means a lot you guys join and like honestly I'm doing twitch um so that I can you know entertain you guys I can put on YouTube after everyone can watch um as much as they want as little as they want um I'm definitely taking suggestions to what you want to see me do gaming and streaming and cooking and makeup wise. I want to definitely get suggestions. Oh my God. So yeah, we're doing the brows. Ooh. This is so iconic. Um, so let me get my phone for you guys so I can show you close up, closer up. We're going to get the, uh, the lash glue and get it ready. I'm really excited because I'm meeting with my jeweler. We're working on Jordan and my engagement ring. So really exciting. So you can see the brows really i'm um, fluffy and i'm going to actually do a lot more work on them right now while these lipid drops hydrate um if you have any questions ask me um open book i am right now doing my makeup before meeting as i said with my jeweler we're so excited we're getting the stone this summer officially okay so what i like to do when i do my brows and i'll try to get this in the camera is i like to Make them as thick as possible, but then smooth it out. A lot of people don't don't remember that part, and you can just see the difference. Like, it just looks so much cleaner. So you really wanna oh, 
the phone is sliding all right let's get this menorah out of here you guys have seen it's hanukkah everybody knows it's hanukkah this is hanukkah everybody make a scene doing the christmas song for y'all um okay so i want to brush this one up so you're gonna go like this like so um, and yeah, I'm really excited. Like my friend is in here from the Grammys. I'm so grateful for everyone who's supporting me and all the people come in and out of the streams and, you know, just all of it, being able to be a part of, being able to be a part of your guys' lives and being able to interact with you guys. If you're on here, follow me, subscribe to my Playboy Centerfold as well. So you can see the rest of the goodies, centerfold.com slash West for everything that is exclusive. So I'm going to start off with this Anastasia Beverly Hills. Oh yeah, I got my tickets to the Grammys. Did you get... Tyler Alexis is chatting, um, do you get your tickets to the Grammys? I got my tickets. I also got the after party tickets. And I will also be attending Kit Wakely's after party, um, after the official after party at 3 a.m. So definitely excited. I'm definitely going to get a custom dress, so I'm really pumped. Um, so I get this. This is in um, caramel brow color. I sometimes use the taupe, but sometimes I go darker in the winter. So you just want to take the smallest amount on your brush. Yeah, that's a long day. I know. I'm not usually used to that, dude. Like, I'm like, uh, I am not used to that. Oh my gosh, well, of course, the light just, um, died on my, on my, oh, I actually have a charger right here on my, um, mirror. Oh, not 10 a.m., girl. The event starts at 12. The event starts at 12. So I'm good. Um, the Grammy start at 12. I, I did not know it starts at 10 a.m. I'm definitely going to have to change my makeup and hair artist plans. Can you please elaborate why it starts at 10 a.m.? They said that the, um, oh, here we go. Got it. They said that the... Uh, red carpet starts at 12 on my ticket. And of course, I'm bringing my amazing mom as my guest. I'm bringing my fiance next year because it's her turn to go. So she, I want to take everyone in my family eventually. Oh, you might, oh yeah, it starts at 12. I have my makeup and hair team coming at 7 just to be safe, just so I can be ready and take photos of the Beverly Hills Hotel where I'm staying during the Grammys. Um, I'm really excited. Every Grammys year, I really want to try to stay at, like, a different hotel and just get to experience more of L.A. Um, because even though I live in L.A., I'd never get to stay in hotels there because I live there. Um, and since we're moving to Pasadena next year, I'm like, I want to come to L.A. more and do more L.A. stuff. Give me just want more space. So it's exciting. And I'm so excited for all my friends who are nominated, um, especially Cheryl Englehart. Cheryl B. Englehart, she just came on my podcast. And um, Robert Iback, my really good friends who... I've been on my show and they took me to Kit's event last week and it was just really, really incredible. I just, I'm so grateful to be included in the um, indie genre and the rap genre, the hip hop genre, R&B. I'm just a part of so many different um, genres, so I'm really lucky. Uh, I just sculpted this out. Thank you, Tyler Alexis, for being so dedicated. Everyone go follow her on Twitch and on Instagram. Her Instagram pop in it deserves more love. So Tyler Alexis Music. And if you want to see us collab, let me know. We might hit the studio with our friend Derek Cobb, if you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so for this brow, I like to just... It's a little... This brow is a little different. It has a little bit more of, like, a gap, you could say. This is definitely going to be, like, a very transformation type video. Because skiing really dries your skin out, guys. I'm in Aspen right now, and it's really does a number on your skin so i like to keep it natural but i also like to keep a line like at the bottom going um and then i'm obviously going to do touch-ups with concealer after but yeah um, i'm trying to stream more like it was really frustrating because my tiktok was banned at 100k um for literally no reason other than people reporting my account who are haters so i'm building it back up right now so follow me on tiktok amanda rome west official and instagram amanda rome west official i'm almost at 26k on ig really exciting because Again, my old account was banned in 2018 on Instagram, so just being really careful. And I'm lucky I have Playboy Centerfold so I can post everything I want to post. And, you know, it's not fair. Like, when you take the bands off women's bodies, you know, just not, it's not cool. Um, And, yeah, I'm just, like, really doing a lot of work on these brows. Like, yeah, there's some extra, but we're fixing it after. Oh, um, oh, my God, bring a humidifier anytime we go somewhere cold. Yeah, I bring my humidifier with me. We usually have them at this hotel we stay, where we stay at, um... So lame. Congrats. 25K is amazing. Thank you. No, I'm at 25.8K, so I'm trying to hit 26K, so I'm really excited. Um, I'm really lucky that I have all the people in there. And I think when I stream every Tuesday more often, like, like I was, like, saying, oh, I'm going to stream every Tuesday, and then I kind of, like, fell off because I was, like, so, you know, just, like, booked with other things. But now I'm just, like, every Tuesday I'm streaming around, like, 4 or 5 p.m. I'm just trying to stream, do it, you know, make it happen. 
um, I think it's it's awesome. And, you know, it did take me a long time to build my Instagram at that point. And I can talk a bit about that if you want to hear about that. Let me know below. Because it's definitely a lot of work to be able to run a whole page like that. Alright, so here's my next step. I like to use this Kosas Concealer in Revealer... Uh, what color is this? Does not say does not say what color this is. Um, I couldn't tell you guys what color it is, but it's called Revealer Concealer. Um, and we're gonna go in with a flathead brush to clean these up a bit, and that's why I do the top as well because I just want to really clean it up. And we're gonna go with a brow pencil after. This isn't my everyday makeup routine for sure. Like I don't do makeup every day because I do a really good skin, thankfully. Um, my mom is a dermatologist. Follow her as well. Uh, West Institute on Instagram and TikTok. Um, I use all her products. And I really just try to do, like, a lot of skincare. Like, even when I'm working out, even when I'm just, like, getting out of bed in the day and just, like, doing stuff at home. Like, I always do skincare because I like face masks a lot. Just, like, get everything out. And I try to get a facial once a month. I'm actually going to be vlogging next month um, on my YouTube and on the social media channels um, that I have TikTok, Instagram, probably here I'll do something. Um, I'm going to be vlogging because I get a facial every month and I also get every month um, Derma V on my face. So I'm really excited to share that with you guys. I haven't really been filming it, but finally with my new work situation, I'm really able to film and do all of it. So here's my brows. Here's how they're looking. Um, I like to also go in. I know this is such a high maintenance brow routine. I like to go in with this um, precisely my brow benefit pencil. Oh my gosh. Lamar looked over his eyes holding a cheese stick. My brain. No, I know, right? Like, makeup always reminds me of other stuff. Like, I think some makeup looks like candy, honestly. You know? Um, but no, I'm really grateful for my friends like Tyler Alexis Music and, like, Derek Cobb and stuff who have, who have encouraged me to keep doing music, keep streaming. Because it's, like, it does get a little bit, like, depressing, you know? Because it's, like, sometimes you only get a few viewers or sometimes you, you only get a few listeners, you know? And it's, like, you just got to keep going because... It's those, like, small moments, like, that really make it worth it. Like, when I did the Viper Room and, like, joining the Academy, the Recording Academy, and being, um, you know, in the FYC for the Grammys, having three records in the FYC this year, and going to all these cool events with you guys. You're just really awesome people, and, you know, I really appreciate you supporting me. Ooh, changes to just chatting. Your game is still set to Portal 2. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait, how do I? <laughs> oh, my God. Wait. Oh, my God. Oh my god, wait, I'm set to Portal 2 right now. How do I change this? Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, how do I change this? You guys. <gasps> no. No. No, how do I go in there and do that? <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, no, on the phone it won't let me. Oh my god, here's my setup so you guys can see. Okay, well, oh well, it's we're we're in the vibe of Portal 2. That's fine, I can talk about Portal 2 some. This was my first makeup stream, so... Really appreciate you guys. Um, all right. So I guess we're on Portal 2. I put it on makeup and beauty, but I guess that's not... Let me see if I can figure it out. I know there's a chat command that works. <gasps> Thank you. Icon. I should make you one of my um, subs or whatever. What's it called? Mods. I should make you a mod. So um, when I go in on this brow, I just want to go really gently and just even them out. Really dramatic brow look, but that's what we're going for right now. So next, I want to thank you for looking, Tyler Alexis Music. Shout out to her. Um, I'm going to use this West Labs Wake Up Flawless Hydrator. It's a has a lot of stuff in it. Um, I just try to use this only when I am... I like the little squeezy thing. Only when I am really, really, really dry. So just mix it up. Mm. Thank you so much for literally fixing my stream. That means a lot. I'm a newbie over here, as you guys know. So just try to stay dedicated to it. You know how I do. Um, let me go wash my hands, and I'm going to be back in one second. Uh, no, but if you can change it from Portal 2 to Makeup, I really appreciate it. It's so impossible right now. It's just crazy, crazy stuff. Um, and I'm glad I can do Twitch because... Oh, and, yeah, yeah. Game just chatting. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, I'm just trying to really like get my get a grip over here. I'm not I'm not used to Twitch. Um, so then I also have this NYX Plump Right Back Electrolytes um primer. And I just like to put two dots and then a dot, a dot, have it on there. 
And I like to blend with my foundation brush. Now, when I'm... Oh, I don't think I can do it, but can you type in chat? No, I can't type in the chat. Oh, my God. Woo! That is crazy, y'all. I need to fix my OBS when I'm on my computer. Oh, my God. Here we go. Woo! We're out here. So, as you can see... Oh, well... <laughs> What a stream. Uh, I'll do that next week, guys. And next week, um, I will also be doing a makeup tutorial for the holidays. And then the following week, we'll be back to gaming. I just did Portal 2, as you see. And I'm going to be open to new games. So let me know what you want to see. I also might pop in on Tyler Alexis's streams. I like her stuff. She's cool. She's a cool gal. Check her out. Appreciate the support. No, but um, what I was saying before was like, yeah, it gets really depressing when you don't have any viewers, but that's like how it was a Playboy. It's like the first two weeks I had like no one, no one, no one. And just like, if you just work on it, you'll get, you'll get viewers and you'll get attention and you'll get money. Like you just have to keep going. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it in my mind. Super grateful for the support. Um, and I'm going to get my lashes ready right now. Absolutely. Yes. No, it means a lot. And I met her at the new member event and like, she was just so welcoming to me and like, I'm just really lucky to have great friends already in the Academy because it's really hard, especially when you're in the rap and hip hop category as a woman. There's not so many women and it's really, really difficult. And we're so lucky that our chapter president is um, Lettucey, obviously. Oh, no, she's not the chapter president. I think she's the, the head of all of the Recording Academy. But then we have the chapter president and we have Kiana. We have all the amazing people and they're just, oh, you have no doubt I'm going to blow up. Oh, my God, you're so sweet. <laughs> I love you. Um, no, but literally, like, it means a lot that there's so many women on the L.A board and, and and running the academy i mean it's so cool because we have so much potential for women in the academy now and it's, i just really respect it and um i just i just love going to events where there's multiple genres you know i don't want to go to an event where it's like only hip-hop or only only alternative or only chant or only new age like that just doesn't help anyone you know you just need to do events that have everyone under the sun there so you can experience everyone and uh, regardless you know of your genre you should be networking with everyone so i think that's cool um okay so next step we're gonna do is foundation um i just got this foundation from dior forever um it is a little dark i'm not that tan right now when i'm in the sun in la i'm usually a little bit tanner but we're gonna go ahead and go in with this I like to sometimes add some concealer to lighten it up, but I feel like we should be good for today. Um, but yeah, so at the new member event, no, I got to meet um, Tyler Alexis, and she was friends with my friend who came on my podcast, Derek. Like, I can't believe it because I found out today my podcast was in the top 5% of shared globally and that I had so many listeners, 6K a week. That's like really crazy for me. I just found this out literally today, and I, and I got some information yesterday from Spotify with the year-end wrap-up, but... It's just so cool and like it's so awesome that I'm able to share my music with you guys. Yeah, I wanna just do like a little, a little on the chin. I don't want to interfere with my turtleneck though. No. Keep it to here. I know it's so crazy. It is crazy. And I'm just so excited to have really cool guests like Tyler Alexis coming on the show. Um, in March and I have a lot of guests booked out and I'm really just pumped on it because it's like for so long I wanted to start a podcast and I didn't know how to until COVID when I found out like oh shit there's this thing called Anchor and you can record from home because I just have so many guests internationally I have so many friends around the world and it was like I just felt like I didn't want to do another one of those podcasts that's filmed like oh great another podcast it's like just audio I don't want to have all this all this video stuff and you know when you have too much content it almost doesn't make it um appealing to people they're just like oh i can watch her whenever like not interested um but i try to keep things separate you know tiktok live stream instagram live stream twitch live stream podcast turning the twitch into youtube videos and also doing my second podcast called going to the movies with my fiance jordan and um it's just you know i already have so much going on plus music plus my day job plus playboy so plus my production company so it's a lot um but you know i just recently kind of dropped acting i've just been so busy with everything else and just seeing so much success with modeling for Playboy and music and um, my influencer career that just kind of like, yeah, I think I'm good on, I think I'm good in terms of um, acting. It's just, there's so much going on. Obviously I'll continue to audition, continue to put myself out there, but 
there's not really so much of a need for that. It's just so much going on and you can only give your time to so many things. And like, um, like I was just chatting just, you know, with you guys, Tyler, Alexis was saying like, I have no doubt it'll blow up. Like that means a lot to me, but I take it really seriously. Like I want to go live as much as I can, like every Tuesday that's yeah. Acting never appealed to me. Yeah, exactly. And like, I, I loved learning to act so I can do a better job as an influencer and be more convincing with my reels and my TikToks and be able to act once I'm a really famous rapper and, um, and bunny and everything. But you know, as I get bigger, you know, acting is only going to help me. It's just, I like auditioning for things like LA casting, Actors Access, that type of stuff. But I'm not going to go out of my way to like, you know, stand in line at Warner Brothers like they did in that show, um, uh, Dreamland. Or what was the show Hollywoodland? I forget what it was called. It was the Ryan Murphy show. But it showed like how the actors stand outside the gates of the studio. Like, pick me, pick me. It's like, I'm just not like that. Like, I'll put, I'll, I'll put my, I'll go on every day and look what there is. But I'm not like desperate like that. I just want to do what appeals to me and my acting coach was like you're just so successful i was like at the gym i was talking about bone and she was just like you know you're just so successful as a playboy bunny i don't understand why you would want to i don't understand why you would want to do acting because you're so busy and you know obviously take on a role that would be good for you but don't don't overcommit because then you're just like taking away from other things that's how i feel yeah I feel like as musicians, everyone's like, oh, you should become an actor, you should become an actor. And, like, my fiancé's an actor. He's really talented. He was just in Hunters on Amazon, if you know that show, um, about the Jews. Hanukkah, bitch. Um, but it was just never something that, like, really stood out to me. something that needs to be done. All right, so I'm doing my crazy contour routine. I start with concealer, Maybelline uh, eraser, multi-use concealer. I really love this one. Only so many spoons. Exactly. I just don't have time. Like, it's like... And then you're putting so much time in and you don't even get chosen. It's like, in terms of centerfold and, like, um, influencing and music, I see results. I see financial and physical and, you know, fan results. I don't... With acting, you know, you can't guarantee anything. Exactly. It's like, you only have so much time. And my podcast has been really successful. Like, I'm really lucky to have so many great guests. And, you know, I've just been so busy with it. Oh, here's my mom. Say Hi. It's my mom. Wait, no. They want to say hi. Actually, say hi. Oh, my God. Tyler. Oh, my friend who's coming to the Grammys wants to meet you. She's she's going to meet you on the red carpet. You're coming, right? You got your tickets? Hi, Mom. They're saying hi to you. Hi. Come hi, here. Baby. Say hi. Okay. Give me a minute. I'll be there in a minute. Mommy, could you please make me a drink? Oh, also, like, another Jewish thing update. So today I had to cancel my trip to Israel because they said there you might not eat for two to three days and we might be hiking in the wilderness. Um, and that was never on the agenda when I booked it. So I'm really proud of myself for canceling it. And I want to go on one day with, when I have a baby. I want to go with my mom and my baby and uh, my husband. And we can all go to Israel and we can all, like, get a tour guide. Oh, I'm still debating who I'm going to bring, but I love that you're bringing your mom to the Grammys. Tina. I'm so excited. She's so excited. Sorry for the noise. She's making drinks. It's okay. She's making drinks. And you can say hi. And so we stream every Tuesday. And whenever I'm with Tina, when I'm here in Aspen for work or skiing, you'll see her in my streams. Because usually when I'm, ho- when I'm home, I'm gaming. But then when I'm traveling, hi. I'm on here. Hi, Westies. Hi, Westies. Say hi to Tyler Alexis. Hi, Tyler Alexis. She's the coolest. So she said she's figuring out who to bring. No, you should totally bring Cheers. your mom. Cheers. Woody Creek, our favorite. <laughs> you should totally bring your mom. Oh, my God. She thinks I'm going to blow up on Twitch. She's like, you just have to keep going. Like, I fully agree. Keep going. Keep streaming. Um, But to talk about Jews, yeah. It's like, I don't understand why they make the birthright trip so misleading. It's for anyone 18 to 30, I think, who's Jewish. And they made it seem so fun. And then they tell you you can't eat food. You know, there's going to be a whole thing. The whole, multiple days you can't eat. And you're going to be like, like, I'm not high maintenance. I've been to India. I've been to China. Like, trust me, I've stayed in five-star hotels. But I've also stayed in, like, hostels and stuff. And, like, I would, yeah, ooh is right. I would not go to Israel if it's, you know, you're worried about terrorists. And then you're worried about not eating. You're worried about... Where, where your luggage is going to go. They were like, if you lose your luggage, we're not waiting for you at the airport. You'll have to let it go. It's like, uh, I don't I don't roll like that, you know? My mom's giving me a look. Like, I am a little high maintenance, let you know? Let it go. What the hell? Yeah, they're like, you'll have to let it go and purchase other clothing. It's like, um, I'd rather, like, wait till I have a kid and go with my family. I know what. I was like, what? this this company's called Birthright Israel, so look it up and just be warned because that does not sound good to me. Um, okay, so we're gonna go in with this beauty blender sponge. Um, this is something else I saw on TikTok. So you wanna go in and just bake. Bake your bake your um under eye. 
I don't like to do too much concealer. I like to more bake so I can just seal everything in. I had a few friends go on birthright. I feel like those are minimal needs. Yeah, exactly. It's not like a high maintenance to be like, oh, can you wait for me to get my luggage? Like, what the fuck? And it's always me, of course, who gets her bag lost. So, you know, of course, they would like leave me behind or whatever the fuck. That's like really weird. Um, yeah, that is basic needs. And I thought birthright would be cool. I was supposed to go with my friends from USC, but then COVID happened. And then I was supposed to go on another trip. And then there was like a whole, you know, the whole thing going on over there, kind of. And then after that, it was just like, you know what? I just don't get time for this. Like, <laughs> And um, as you guys know, if, you, if you're a longtime follower of me, you know, I work with my mom in Aspen every month and DC. So I was just giving up a lot of work and I was going to have to pre-plan all these posts. And I just prefer to travel with my mother because then I can have her with me to do the posts and to, you know. What? Be hippie. Show everyone. Come here. Oh. Be hippie. Hi. Hi. Be hippie. That's all I have to say. No, but I, don't you want to go to Israel with me, Tina, one day? I feel like we would be the best yes. Jews in Israel. Uh, I'm not, I can't point that, but... <laughs> no, oh my god, you love that? Oh, yeah. No, okay, you definitely need to bring your mom because then our moms can hang and we can have fun. She was like, it's going to be such a long night. She thought it was 10 a.m. to 3 a.m., but I said, no, it's 12 p.m. to 3 a.m. Because our, um, the, uh, Tyra and, uh, Doralee, my makeup artist and my hair stylist are now. coming. Yeah, practice party. No, because we're going to the event, right? We're going red carpet. Um, then we're going, oh my god, the six temp. What's up, girl? What's up, girl? What's up, girl? Oh my god, what's up? Getting ready to head out to the vineyards. Miss you, my fellow rapper. Oh my god, is this Chris from the wine tour? Oh, Chris. Oh my god, it's Chris. Hi, Chris. Chris. Oh my god, hi. To all your friends and join, please. Oh my god, fancy, thank you. No, we're going to the Beverly Hills Hotel. Okay, makeup starting at 7 a.m. Chris, I love Chris. Chris is amazing. Chris L, my king. Chris is a rap battle king. Yeah, he's the rap battle king. He really is. He really is. I appreciate you joining me. Um, and we are talking right now about the Grammys. It's going to be so exciting. So awesome. <laughs> um, so so we're starting at the Beverly Follow Six Temp. Alexa, Tyler, I keep calling you Alexis. Like, last name, first name. Tyler or Alexis. Go follow him. He's the best on Instagram and Facebook. He's like an icon. I went. He's talking about the vineyards because before we saw Pink perform in Napa, we went on this wine tour and I was like, okay, it's just a wine tour, whatever. And then we met the most amazing tour guide. Um, his name is Chris. Go with him on Platypus Wine Tours because he's an icon. And later when you're watching this on YouTube again, I'm going to link it down. But this guy's amazing. Request him like... I literally, next time I want to tip him $500. Like, he is, like, the best tour guide in the world. We had a rap battle at this Jewish vineyard. It was very iconic. Oh, thank you. Cheers. Say hi to Chris. Cheers. Hi, Chris. Yay. Hi. Oh, my God. I activated your roommate's Alexa. That's iconic. Alexa, play Amanda Rob West. Let's go. Mm. No, but this wine tour is so fun because it's, like, you know... My parents, oh, my parents go on like the nicest, nicest wine tours, and it's like this wine tour was very like fun and chill. We go on private. Yeah, they go on like private, like really expensive tours. Uh, he said, "Hi, mom. Hi, you're the best, Amanda. No, you're the best. No, it was like, and I was like, okay, it's like low level wine tour, or whatever. But then I went on the tour, and I was like, this is better than anything I've ever been on. Really fun. I've only been on wine tours in Italy, and this guy was like, he just made it pop. He made it pop. Do you have anything to say to Chris? Yes. Chris, I already said he's the rap battle king. And no, but tell me how fast fun the tour, tour was. It's so much fun. Like you will not regret it if you take platypus wine tour, and you have to go with Chris because he is. No, you best. have to. He is the best. He is the best he's in the pick world. All the fun wineries, and you have to make him rap for you, though. You have to, and he like drives the bus, and he's like, "What do you want to listen to?" And they start playing my music. I was like, "Ah, what the fuck!" And it's like I wasn't accepted to the Grammys yet at this point, so I was like, "Oh my god, I'm manifesting, manifesting." Uh, they, he said, "Amanda kicked my ass." Oh my god, that means a lot. I love you. Um, Chris, you should come to the Grammys next year. You're an icon. You're a legend, living legend. I hope you should like put songs on Spotify and join the, join the Grammys. Um, no, but literally no shit. Like this wine tour was so fun. Like I'm someone who's very all about like having fun and enjoying life. And I also like to make money and save, you know? So if you don't want to spend a ton of money and you want to have a good time, go on this tour. Um, it was really worth it. And I met some really cool people who still I keep in touch with, um, aside from the tour guide, Chris. And everyone is just so nice in Napa. Like, Napa's one of my favorite cities, and we're going to Bottle Rock 2023. So maybe we'll have to take the tour again, Chris. We might take the tour again. It was really fun. But I think we might have gotten, like, all day passes, so maybe we'll have to meet up for a drink after the show. Um, no, I'm just really... Oh, yeah, we did have a great group. I'm really grateful for the support of everyone and, like, 
Also, I love Chris's Facebook. He inspires me. Like, he has, he just celebrated his 19th anniversary with his wife. I was like, that's so iconic. Um, and people think, like, once you get kind of, you'll see me in May, yes. People think when you, when you kind of get, like, blown up on IG, you're like, oh, fake, and, like, whatever, IG celebrity. It's like, no, I'm real. Like, I will know, I will follow Chris the rest of my life. I will hook him up when I go on tour. I will definitely see you in May. Um, you, just message me on Facebook. I'll send you my number, Chris, so we can, um. I don't want to blast my number online, but send me a message on Facebook. Remind me. I'll send you my cell. Um, we definitely have to get you on the podcast. I definitely have to um, meet up. So we're going in right now. I'm um, sorry. I got so excited. We're going in right now with the Ofra on the Glow palette. I just got this from BoxyCharm. I love it so much. Um, and I'm really excited. I think I should do more makeup streams. I'm really into it. Maybe I'll do more like going to the movies. Oh, going to. The oh, my God. This almost fell. Going to the movies. Um streams on tuesday please stay in the stream because we're talking about a lot of stuff it's gonna be really fun tell all your friends to join guys follow me amanda rome last here oh my god keep up with your and i can't keep up with your energy you are amazing amanda thank you that is so sweet of you oh my god you're the best wait i can't believe you just said that i'm amazing you're awesome i love you guys so i'm kind of um feathering out this bronze i don't i don't, i'm almost dropping everything I don't want to be too bronze you know i just want to be very like a touch a touch um no but in terms of the grammys yeah we're going okay so the ceremony is 12 p.m to 5 p.m i think and then tyler can you fill me in i should say madam rome west i kind of love it madam rome west that's a vibe period i should call myself that madam rome west madame rome west um no that was just like I'm going to be real with you guys. Like, I don't know what time the Grammy ceremony goes until maybe Tyler or Alexis can fill us in. But essentially, I, I know the ceremony. Okay, so makeup at 7 a.m. at Beverly Hills Hotel with my mom, right? Then ceremony starts at 12 red carpet. Oh, it doesn't go till late. Okay. So, okay, there's a morning ceremony and an evening televised one. Oh. Wait, so all so everything happens? I'm pretty sure it's done by a... Wait, what? There's two ceremonies... So they film the second one and not the first one. They just filmed the audience of the first one, maybe? Did not know that. Um, wait, fill me in. Please fill me in in the comments because I thought the Grammy ceremony goes from like, yeah, 12 to 5 or 6 or 7 or something. And then there's the after party. Uh, my friend didn't know last year and missed his Grammy win. Wait, what? Wait, so wait, wait. Tyler, fill me in because it's like straight up. Also, I'm going in with this um this highlighter in the color. I'll give you the color. The color is called California Dream. Okay, so um, oh, your eyes are so amazing. They remind me of Adele's eyes. So pretty. Oh, thank you so much. One of the ceremonies is for, uh, engineers and producers. Most of the awards are during the first ceremony, and the more popular ones in the evening ceremony. Tech people. Oh, I appreciate you letting me know that. Like, can you go to both? I'd love to just be there the whole time and just experience it. Like. I'm just so confused because all I got information wise was um, it's the red carpet starts at 12 and you want to be there. Uh, oh, there should be info on the tickets, not just tech people. Maybe I'll talk to Kiana on email um, from the Academy and just understand like what all the details are. Um, but on the ticket, it says 12 p.m. That's weird. That's weird. Or maybe when I get there, I could just ask people be like, oh, hey, oh, 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 not just tech people. World music, rock, rap, electronic, et cetera, et cetera. The popular ones in the evening. So can I go, do, when I bought a ticket, right? I spent a lot of money. I, I only got the bronze level. So I, because even being a part of the Academy, as you know, the tickets aren't like included with being a member of the Academy. So I bought the tickets um to the ceremony and after party. So I'm going to the ceremony, then the after party. Then I'm going to Kit Wakeley's unofficial after party. And he's one of my really good friends now. He's an incredible um composer. He's so cool. He invited me to his party at the Biltmore last Monday and um Tyler I should have brought you as one of the guests like it was so cool because I was supporting my friend um Robert Ibeck who was nominated it was really cool um bro for sure they upped the freaking ticket price too this year I'm dying yeah it was literally 700 a person and then 200 a person for the after party so I spent 900 and my mom spent 900 like how much did he spend in the past years gotta go love you girl love you too hit me up on Facebook add my playboy centerfold centerfold.com slash my normal I love you Oh. um no uh tyler let's talk wait yeah no literally the tickets went on sale already girl they're sold out they're sold out that's what they said they were like you better buy tickets now because they're gonna sell out 
Um, and right now I'm using the Sephora 12 hour, um, just a black pencil. Oh, I love you. No, um, okay, so I was just really confused because I thought the ceremony's at 12. I mean, okay, so this is really confusing. The red carpet starts at 12. And then the ceremony starts at what time and goes to what time. And then when's the next ceremony and then the after party? Because I want to go to all of it. I'll literally go get food in between. Like, I don't care. Like, I am all about the Grammys. I am all about it. When I was, before I was famous, actually, I used to do audience work. Um, And that was really really something i'm definitely used to sitting in a chair and clapping i used to do um the animal shows i used to do ellen i used to do um uh jimmy kim alive it's crazy the tickets were like 325 or something the additional amount for the after party yeah no much more than that much more than that. i spent a total of 1700 so so we each spent what's 1700 divided by two you know, we each spent nine fifty. It's really crazy. Um, two tickets, two tickets on seventeen hundred. Two bronze level tickets and two after party tickets were seventeen hundred. So yeah, and that was definitely a hefty credit card bill that I just paid off. Shout out to my day job for being able to fucking support my shit. Um, no dot 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 right. Um, it's already sold out. Yeah, I just feel like okay, not no shade on the academy, but I feel like they should include tickets for members. Like we already pay so much, we already support so much, like. I feel like we just deserve to get tickets. Like, that's kind of ridiculous in my mind. Um, I'm going out with this blush. It's called Beverly Hills. It's, like, one little corner of this palette. But I'm just, like, really going in there with the pink. You can see the pink right here. Um, yeah, I thought that was a little bit ridiculous. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? That It's literally... It's literally 1700 And then I was going, before I knew the price, I was like, oh, I'm going to go to Cabazon and get a designer dress for the ceremony since it's my first Grammys. You know, I'm 25. Really exciting, right? I'm young. I'm fun. This is my first ceremony. Um, and then I was like, oh, shit. What the fuck? Um, so I'm probably going to go downtown. Uh, like I said, custom dress. Like I'm going to get something really unique and get it tailored. And then I'm going to wear my mom's um, red bottom Louboutin heels rainbow she got them on my birthday when we were shopping in the outlets and then i think i'm gonna wear like a gucci bag i was gonna wear my balenciaga but fuck balenciaga honestly um child abuse is not cool child g-r-o-o-m you know what i'm talking about that's not cool so uh i don't support them really not cool with that um i'm gonna end up wearing probably a gucci bag or i have this silver chanel bag that's vintage um i just think all the the accessories really make it what it is Okay, now I'm going in with this middle one. It's called, uh, yeah, this is called Rodeo Drive. All right, you were right, noon. Yeah, do you mind looking up what time the ceremonies are? Because I want to go to everything. You know, if I'm paying that much, I, I took my whole day off of work. I'm like, I'm going, I'm going. So we're done with this. And I also, by the way, like when I'm traveling, I actually use the hotel shampoo to clean my brushes. So here's all my brushes. Um, I clean them with the hotel shampoo uh okay so there's just two ceremonies okay so what time though what time is the second one like what is what is the schedule tyler do you mind looking it up and filling us in that'd be really dope of you um because i am so lost it's like my first year how long have you been a member tyler because you you like know everything and it's so like inspiring oh yeah so i never even finished my story so we met at the new member ceremony and we were talking with lettuce about meg the stallion and you were like wait meg the stallion i was like you're like is meg the stallion here i was like girl i wish period um but there were some really cool celebrities there that night i was like wow i couldn't believe all the celebrities who turned up at the event like when they see recording academies like royalty it really is like people go hard like when you're in the academy it's like boom but um so essentially, oh, so loud in there. I'm really confused. What? No, can you look up the de Tyler, do you mind looking up the details for the um for the ceremony? Ooh, okay. Oh, it's loud in there. Oh, you were confused. No, it was so loud. I feel like you thought I said Meg the Stallion's here, but we were saying we love Meg the Stallion. It was just a funny moment. I was like, oh my god. She thought she was like she didn't know who Meg the Stallion was. I was like, of course she fucking knows who Meg the Stallion is. Everyone knows. Everyone knows who Meg the Stallion is. Come on. No, but literally, though, like, if you could look up the details right now, I'd be so grateful so I can, like, know what the details are. Because I'm like, dude, I can't believe there's two ceremonies. So I'm going to take the baking off right now right here. Right there. So you see, it's very, like, smooth, very retouched. And, yeah, I'm meeting my um, engagement ring designer at the little Nell in half an hour so i have some time 
just down the street from here. So I got some time. Um, oh, like stacking up my brushes, you know. Uh, okay, so let's go in with some eyeshadow. I, I don't want to do primer today because I'm doing a really light look. But this is KB Cosmetics Day and Night Palette. So I'm looking to go in with the shade. Oh, I'm very sorry. Okay. Did you pay extra for the red carpet or something? I'm pretty sure you overpaid if you're only in bronze. Yeah, it included the um ceremony. It included, I mean, it included the red carpet, the ceremony. It was all, it, it, it included the entire event. And then I bought the after party tickets. Yes. I think that's why it was so expensive. So I'm going in with a really light amount of terracotta. I really want to do Tyler's makeup sometime. I do. Um, I'm just kind of like shocked how much money it was. Like, I do agree. It's a lot of money. They said the red carpet's included. They said, um, it starts at 12. So I don't know what time the red carpet starts. Like, I feel like I need to ask Kiana or just someone in the Grammys ticketing office, like, about the details. Like, when I look at the ticket, it says, I'm going to email Kiana regardless. But when I look at the tickets, it said, um, it says everything starts at 12. So if you don't mind looking up, I'd really appreciate it. Now I'm going in with a color called Stella. It's this nice bronze color right there. Um, yeah, no, Tyler, have you ever been front row? Because that was like $20,000. I was like, what the fuck? Who is paying for that? Not me. Not me. And people think like there's only a few members of the Record Academy. Like there's thousands, thou probably hundreds of thousands of members. Because um, if you keep your membership active, you know, you could be in it your whole life. I'm trying to stay active because, you know, I put out a lot of music. But, yeah, tell me, let me know about the ceremony, the details. Because for my ticket, it says the tickets aren't going to show up in my app until January 30th. And um, AXS events app. Um, and then there's going to be some sort of, like, information sent out about the ceremony. But I'm not really certain about that. So I'm going in with Coco. This color Coco. Um, on the edges and I'm gonna go in with some gold on the crease yeah I mean it's just a little stressful and crazy because everyone in my family wants to come to the Grammys you know so I'm taking my mom and then I want to take my dad I want to take my fiance I want to take my siblings like I, want, I just want to take different people each year because I feel like everyone deserves like who's supporting me to go to the to go to the Grammys it's such a cool experience and yeah I just would love to understand like what what is going on Oh, and I forgot to tell you, my top is Vint Ma. I got it. Um, it's a Star Wars collection. And, yeah, I don't think I'm wearing much else besides this robe so that my makeup doesn't get on it. Um, but chat me, Tyler, chat me what, please chat me what is going on with the different levels. Because I'm like, what? They said red carpet starts at 12. I had no idea there's two separate ceremonies. I was a red carpet, then the ceremony. I have no idea. I need to be filled in. Maybe I should ask them after FYC. I don't want to, like, stress them. I mean, not for FYC, like, the last round of voting. Like, I don't know. Um, yeah. No, I'm just lucky to have been considered my first year. Like, most people aren't even ever considered in their life. And I'm like, wow, I'm considered. Like, that's so cool. I'm so grateful really blessed to be even considered so now everything's done essentially besides liner mascara lashes and lipstick so we're nearly done yeah i agree with this i'm the more i'm looking at this comment okay i like to test it out to make sure it yeah it's spraying right Woo! yeah um I'm glad I at least canceled my trip to Israel so I got some money back. I'm trying to fix lunch. You're all good, queen. You're all good. But let me know. Definitely even just text me later, girl. Like, what? I don't even know if I have your number. I think I have your Insta. Text me your... Send me your number. I'm, I'm like, everyone, send me your number. Send me your number, Tyler, and we'll talk because I want to understand what time the ceremony is and what time everything is. It's just crazy because with the record I come, everything's done in a very specific way. And I was just accepted in July. So I'm just really grateful to even be a part of it and to be a rapper in the academy like that's a really big accomplishment especially for someone who's 25 like i've been told so i'm like really grateful for that um uh this is the Too faced better than sex liquid liner and it's really precise i like to really go in with this and you can do touch-ups you know like do the little inner corner thing 
the TikTok in her corner. Period. Eh. All right. Now we're going into this. But yeah, I'm really excited. We're looking at the diamonds tonight. Unfortunately, my fiance is working during Christmas. So just my family, my parents and me. But that's cool because I want my parents to be a part of it, of course. Sorry, I go kind of silent when I'm doing the liquid liner. I'm like, ah, I'm all over the place. So I like to really even it out. Make sure both are the same the same um, thickness of liner. I'm like, I'm very like, I have surgeon hands. I have very still hands. People always tell me that. Okay, so let's see this one. I did it over. I'll do it over. And then I can use some concealer to clean it up once it's dry. So let's let that dry and let's go in with some mascara. I'm gonna be going in with the one and done mascara from Lawless. Got this from BoxyCharm too. I love BoxyCharm because you can get all of your Sephora favorites for pretty cheap. It's like twenty five a month for the base box. I don't do the Lux. I do no. I do the one that's like the hybrid. Like it's like Lux twice a year and then basic otherwise. So I'm going in with this mascara. I like to blink to get the lashes extra long. I have the stupidest look on my face when I do mascara. Sorry, guys. Um, no, but yeah, I've been working on this ring for a long time. Since last summer. So I've been working, working, working on it. And really excited to get engaged. And I don't know what is being planned, but something's being planned and I'm excited. Um, I'm also gonna go in. I'm also first gonna like do my glue. You can literally use a cheap glue. I got this glue from the CVS, I think. It doesn't really matter what glue you use. That's not gonna affect anything. And I use this tool I got from Glamnetic. I don't really use Glamnetic lashes much anymore. It's more like I only use them if I'm really in a rush because they're magnetic and the, the liner is just so goopy. It's like, it doesn't even work. It just like goops onto your face. It's like, no. Oh, and I cut half a lash. These lashes are from Amazon, I think. They're either from Amazon or Shein. Shein, whatever you call it. Um, so yeah, so I like to go in with like a good coat of glue. And if I see any places that don't have glue, I like to put it on. Um, and you know this, that my method is good because my lashes stay on while I'm at Disney. That's how you know it's legit. Oh, all right. So, okay. Here we go. All right. Um, no, I'm just really like all over the place right now. But yeah, I'm with my ring. We're really excited. We've saved a long time for it. It's going to be really cool. So I like to especially get the inner corner. Um, because I do cut a half lash. I cut one eyelash in half. Yeah, and I do lower lower lashes extra. Just a little extra. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna go in with the concealer brush to clean up this situation with the liner right here we're gonna go in and just clean it i'm even gonna put a little um uh what's it called concealer on the brush that should have helped me um but yeah i'm really excited for the grammys i'm really excited for all my friends who are nominated next year i'm definitely trying to do a global song so i can be considered for the global category because people told me that's much better and you can actually get considered for a grammy um and i want to do that so i also like to clean up the the liner right here i'm like such a perfectionist so i hope you guys can stay patient thank you for all the chats love you all right i was really nervous about this whole twitch thing but it seems like you guys are really transferring over um okay so Tina's up in here. Beep, beep, beep. She's doing the safe. 
beep, beep. Safe. Stay safe. Use the crown safe. Jewels. The crown jewels. She she has the hope diamond, guys. Don't don't <laughs> don't rob us all at once. Um, check this out. So I like to also, so like I said, I like to clean this up a bit. Clean up right here. Oop. Clean up right there. And then I like to go to the inner corner. And I like to just clean. Oh, all right. There's that. Oh, my God. Okay. Just clean that off. Clean that off. Now, the final touch besides lipstick. Go in with the lash. With the lash. Place it. Right there. So just a small lash. See, it's not like too much. I don't like to do too much. I, when I was young, girl, oh my God, I cringed at the lash. I used to do like so big lash, like totally falling off my face. Like that's not good. You don't want the lash to be peeling. And you want to make sure it matches up with your liner. Because otherwise you're going to be able to tell you have a lash on. So I just got to hold it down for a bit. Push it up. You know, don't be afraid to get in there. That's what I tell people. Okay. Okay. So here we go. All right, so now go in with some more liner, clean it up. Then we're gonna do lipstick. I think I'm gonna mix two different colors. Like, in case you guys didn't know, I don't like to look like everyone else, so I like to do everything custom. So I'm gonna mix the colors so it's a really special color, different from anyone else's. Ooh. All right, this is the process. All right, I like to go in and fix it. I'm gonna go with a Q-tip and fix that after after the fact. Oh Jesus, here we go. All right, I'm getting it. It's coming off. All right. The ring camera's going crazy. All right, that looks great. Now for the final touch, I'm going to do my lipstick this is its own tutorial in and of itself straight up no joke no joke um we're gonna go in with here i like to just kind of clean up as i go if that makes sense like organize everything Woo. i hope this is entertaining for you guys okay so to go in at the end I like to take a pencil, I like to use my NARS sharpener. This is the best sharpener you can use. I'm, I'm using Dragon Beauty in the shade, what shade is this? Lip Job. The shade Lip Job. Go in and, you only want to overline the bottom and the top. Thank you girl, I'm almost done. Take a look, all right, so I'm gonna hold this right here while I, right here while I do the lips. So the bottom and then the top. And I go in and go in. So you can see I'm marking everything up. Um, now I literally, I'd just be so grateful if you can look up the grammy details for me because you're so much more experienced than I am. Oh, show chat. You're so much more experienced than I am. Thank you for saying it looks great. Oh, I'll show you guys the final look at the end. You guys really have brightened my day. I had a great ski day. Oh, it's in the email, but it's 12 and five. Okay, I'll be at both. Uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> I did not see that in the email. Wait, which email? The ticket email? Do you have your tickets yet? Okay, I'll have to look through all this. I'll look through all this. Thank you for reminding me.
So, okay, so do extra liner, right? But we'll leave top and bottom in line. Okay, I'll look, I'll look at that. Thank you. So you're, wait, you're going? You said you didn't get your tickets. Here. How much did you pay? Did you pay as much as I paid? I'm like, girl. Girl, now I'm like tripping. I'm like, what? I also like to use, oh, oh, I'm dropping it. I'm dropping it. I also like to use this lip plumper that my mom made called the Lip Flip. It's really good. You can buy this on her website. The Lip Flip by Dr. Tina West. Um, let's do this before this. Oh, oh, BTW nominees only get to red carpet. What? They said I get red carpet. They said as long as... No, they said as long as you have tickets, you get to go to the red carpet. That's really weird. Okay. I did not know that. That would make sense, but I did not know that. So then why... Then why did my friends... Who aren't nominated say they're going to the red carpet. I didn't do the after wedding thing about 800 for two bronze level tickets. No, I definitely bought red carpet access. That's weird. I'll have to talk with some people and see what's going on with that. I have no clue. But it said that red carpet was included. And my friend told me it was. But who knows, you know. Was, yeah, I'll have to ask. Um. Okay. So, going in with... going in with lifter gloss in the shade amber maybe it's different this year because they were like oh like we're excited to welcome you on the carpet and then my friend said go to the red carpet it's cur that's weird i mean that makes sense but i was told differently so weird so there we go there's the look We'll see what happens. Smaller one elsewhere without the paparazzi. Oh, I mean, I have no idea. I mean, either way, I'm here for it. Either way. So here's the final look. I'm trying to like shine the light so you, guys, ah, so you guys can see. Final look. I can blend a bit more here. Jesus, so like look at something like, oh my God. Good thing I'm on the stream now. Thanks, Queen. Um, no, I appreciate you telling me all that. I'm definitely going to email the ticketing office. and I don't want to bother Kiana with all that. I'll just email the ticketing office. But like I'm ASMR doing your makeup. Like uh, like all the YouTubers. I was like, okay, honey, you know we're doing the powder. Should I get into ASMR? Maybe. I think I might get into ASMR. Let me know what mics to buy. Um, Yeah, but I'm about to go meet my jeweler. I would reread the email closer. Yeah, I'm going to reread the email closer. I only got the email that said your tickets are done, and they said it includes the ceremony and the red carpet. So I'm definitely going to have to reread. Send me a Facebook or Instagram message, um, Tyler. We will connect. I would love to get your number so we can also plan further for the podcast. Um, just text me. And, yeah, I mean, I'm just already going to the Grammys. I'm really excited. It's a big deal for me. My first year being a member. And... So that I can be nominated, I want to do global because it's like everyone at this event Monday at the Biltmore was like, if you did global music, you could get nominated because it's impossible to get, I'll touch this up too. It's impossible to get nominated in the rap world because all the labels pay and it's almost like completely impossible to be nominated that way. Because I had three songs for consideration. I was just like, nope. All right. Nope. Okay. Got it. <laughs> so yeah, this is the final look. <laughs> Final look. Thank you guys for tuning in. Here is the final look in normal lighting so you can see. Oh yeah, that's all really good. Thank you. Yeah, just the fact I was even like in the running was really impressive. I appreciate that. That's really nice of you to say. Um, Tina. Nope. Oh, nope, oh. She does, she's changing. She doesn't want to be in the stream. Um, nope, so essentially like... I'm not going to be able to do... Oh, you're in here. Okay, everyone's here. Everyone's here. I thought I could go in the bathroom. Nope. Okay, stream's almost over. Anyway, um, thank you. I appreciate that. That's still really good. That means a lot to me. Um, the fact that you guys supported me to even be FYC, like, that's on the next level for me personally. I've never been considered for a Grammy in the past, so hopefully next year here's to being nominated. Um, Tyler, have you ever... Have you been nominated? I'd love to know. I'd love to know. It's a little bit of a get ready with me still. So I'm going to use my Juice Couture fanny pack. 
so exciting. Um, nope. Oh my god. Well, you should. We should do a song together with um some global people, and then we can get nominated. Apparently, that's the only way. So let's do it. I mean, I'm just like so like. I've only submitted one year. You just submit every year because then I feel like you just get more networking the more you submit. Like, the more I submit, the more people I talk to. The more I talk to people, the more I learn. The more things that happen, the more you know. It's like. Your music's so good, and I feel I only heard some stuff from your social media, but you should totally publish on Spotify, publish on Apple, like promote. Like, you don't have to pay money to promote, girl. Like, I told you, I wanna, you're gonna help me with Twitch, I'm gonna help you with Insta. And you know, that's what friends are about. You know, that's why, like, I love meeting people and I love, I love keeping in touch after events and stuff, because it's like literally, like, there is no reason not to help each other. No, nope, I appreciate, oh, haha, I appreciate that girl. No, I appreciate you, and, like, we all have to support each other, you know? That's why it's a music community. It's not just, like, musicians. Like, when I went to this event to support my friends who are nominated in, like, the children's and, like, new age and indie categories, it's not like, oh, it's easy to get nominated. It's still really hard. It's just, like, they have more of a chance to have their music listened to because they're in much more of a niche category. Like, once I do global, once I do um alternative, I could do alternative rap. I could do, like, ASMR rap, like... I feel like that would get nominated. Just needs to be really specific, apparently. Specific types of things. Um, and yeah. So here's my outfit. Um, I'm going to show you guys my belt. Oh, I'm just like, it's just so hard because I wish the rap category was, well, that would be something new. Yeah, that would be something new. <laughs> um, no, but like straight up, it's like, why not try new stuff? Like promote yourself um these pants are from i think these are from shein actually um gotta stand out yeah you do gotta stand out and it's like in the recording academy you know obviously it's always gonna be like beyonce you know um you know who else like it's gonna be like drake like 21 savage in a hip-hop category um uh, mega the style you know it, they're all amazing artists but independent artists there's just no room for us in rap and i hope that i can get some more some more promotion out of doing global sorry for this really hectic stream guys but here's the outfit there's a fit fit check um and then doing this hat it says princess um my man got it for me from claire's actually so random um i like wearing hats even like indoors like i'm just like that that's how i be my skiers hair. Oh, so cute. OMG. Thank you. You're so cute. I hope you do like a makeup stream. Like just literally message me. Like any of my friends who are on Twitch, just message me when you're going live. I'd love to join. I'd love to support. I'm all about supporting each other, um, promoting each other, everything. Um, so then I'm using these socks. I got these from Zoomies. I got the scarf at actually like a liquidation sale in Aspen. I love sales. If you know me, you know, I love a sale. Um, so let's do the socks. Um, I have a hat just like that. It says whatever. We need to do a pick more both wearing them. Yes. Uh, we totally need a link up in person because I would love if you could come to my house and we could smoke or something and then we could go through the Twitch. Oh, shit. Dude, my socks knocked the, knock the phone over. Um, you know, I, I don't usually stream like this. Only when I travel. Usually I stream on my um, PC that my brother um, built for me. He's a really good uh, tech and like computer IT guy. And I would love to show you my setup and show you my stream yard so you can see like what is going, or stream labs. I use different things. Stream yard I use for my mom's podcast. Stream labs is what I use for Twitch. I need to just show you my setup so you can see, so I can turn on the ratings, so I can do everything. And then maybe we could do a collab thing. Like maybe we could do covers, Um, do like a, like I could join sometime. Um, And then this belt is Hermes, so wearing that but yeah i mean i just wish like i just wish twitch was easier i mean i guess it, i guess it's so hard because we don't want to make it accessible to everyone you know but i wish i could like travel with my setup it's just not a travelable setup it's all set up for sure it's hard to get me out of the house but definitely down for something in more immediate virtual is better okay i mean we could just yeah we could just um screen share on uh discord and and talk when i'm back the first week of january and like I said, like your Instagram has no one on there. Like you really need help. Like I want to help you grow your page because you're just so fun and interesting. And meeting you at the Grammys event, I was like, wow, like this girl's so cool. Like, I don't know why she doesn't have a bigger following. Like that was my immediate reaction to you. I was like, no, for real though. Like, LOL. Like you're really talented and funny. And like, you don't need, you know, people think you need to pay for some software, or, like pay for some BS. Like 
you don't got to worry about paying for anything. You just got to be yourself and you got to know what to post and what time to post. And that's really all that affects your following. Too many plate spinning. Yeah, but I mean, I have a lot of plate spinning. I just film things when I can, like this, like getting ready or playing a game after a shoot or, you know, having something on just different. Having something on just different. Um, but yeah, I'm about to wrap up because we're about to head out. But essentially, you know, it's, it's, I'm really grateful that I'm able to stream every Tuesday and have this community. And thank you guys for supporting. Make sure to go check out the new podcast episode that just dropped Friday and a new episode dropping every Friday. So make sure you are subscribed um, here as well. And then I was gifted this Pave bunny necklace. I'm going to wear this. Um, too many. Yeah, I can help you with Insta. It's just a process, really. Okay. So I'm about to head out, all dressed, everything is ready to go, and I will see you guys next Tuesday, and I will be streaming again, Woo! and then the following week will be games, Ooh. so hard to untangle your hair after skiing, for real, it's like, ah, crazy, um, but yeah, I'm gonna head out now, love you guys, thank you so much for tuning in, and have a great rest of your night, bye!